Okay, so here we have Mike Kozak. New trainee to iKick. Um, this is just going to be the first quick eval. Quick, uh, just go look over Sesh, uh, point out a few things. Uh, not even going to be able to point out everything that we're going to eventually get to. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Um, but just for starters, uh, for you, Mike, I'll uh, point out a couple things you can begin to work on now. And also for. So yeah, pretty much what I'm saying about the feet is pretty much you want to stay shoulder um, shoulder length, um, like a shoulder length apart. I'm going to stop it even. I know this is the first one, so I'm not going to do too much, you know, intimate deep, deep zooping and stuff. <laughs> zooping. Zooming. Um, as you can see, your feet here, they're like almost like pigeon toed in almost and way too close together uh to start with no matter uh if you if your job is really good it, this may that's the only thing with this that you may be able to work it in but other than that uh they are a little bit too close uh, at the beginning so you have to work from top to bottom bottom to top whatever it is okay go on Okay. Okay. So right there, we'll break it down in eye kick terms. You had your eyes down the ball. You look up at your target, which is all. Oh, this is great so far. Only bad thing is your feet are moving. Every time those feet move, they then throw off your steps another centimeter off and another centimeter next time and then just adds up, adds up. Adds up. So, truly, uh, you have your chest up here, uh, not like before. Like, you want to start uh, like this uh, and not start as you did start, taking in this video. Uh, yeah, so still just going quick, going uh, just going over the mains, things that I see. Okay, so that little, uh, that shimmy, that shimmy thing with, uh, uh, your feet here. Remember what I said about moving the feet? The less you move, man, the less room for error. The less you move, the less you do, there's less room for error. Think about that, guys. Think about that. There's less room for error. Yeah, think about that for a second and then really think about what, you know, what is most important. So going forward, uh, I didn't even see if it was like a jab. i slacking on that. Okay, so you take a jab. It's not too bad. It's not too long. A little too long. Not bad, bad. Your foot is following in pretty good rhythm. Uh, I guess you could say uh, words. The word is missing me right now. Uh, but um, anyway, as you can see, uh, I can already tell that uh, your starting point uh, was bad. Just because of the position you're in here and what you're even having to do going here to here to now here. Um, it's yeah. roll it back one boom boom. Okay. Okay, so next tip is if we're going to do that jab step, all of this right here, hold on, hold on, hold on, you'll see it, you'll see it. This is just the beginning, Mike, just the beginning, brother. <laughs> Only eye kick sees this.
So yeah, having your uh, place where you started from, taking your steps back, um, and where you're at then, and all the moves, everything were too much. Um, you can easily uh, start to fix, break out of those habits. Um, the next thing I would say is we need to shorten up the uh, the um, stutter a tad, shorten it uh, lengthwise. Uh, we could even go up and down a little bit more if it would get us some more momentum. So as you can see, if you're on the right path to the ball, you'd be getting there on a straight path, not zigzagged, not bouncing or not having to zigzag to get to the your spot you're going to, your plant spot. But, as you can see, Okay, so you saw like the the lunge that you had to. Your body is kind of like making up for the mess up of not correct spacing. I'm 99% sure. So you're having to like uh, change your body as uh, like formation and everything like that. Um, really, just to try to do anything with it, but. When you're not, when you are on that straight line, you're not doing the zigzagging, the momentum that the zigzagging and uh, lunging and the uh, the long um, 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 the long uh, uh, jab, uh, jab step, and it, uh, God, yeah. So that is a. I, I didn't want to give you too much. Uh, that that was a, that's a decent amount. Uh, like literally at the start um, to work on just uh, as the literal first for uh, my boy Mike. So here we go from just looking at the start here. Um, we'll go over a few things. First of all, uh, in all videos, you want to make sure to get your steps in it so I can look at that. Very important. Um, you have your eyes on your target, good, looks like you have a holder that at least halfway knows what he's doing, so also good, not that bad of a starting, uh, some people call it, it's the word posture for this, but I guess it does work, like the, your posture, um, in this way, like you, as you could probably see, you're leaning over. Um, this is leaned over too much. Uh, yeah, you do want to be eyes on ball, but you want to keep your chest up um, to prevent all the crunching that is inevitable and probably inevitable to come in, at the end of this video um, or while you kick. So, those are a couple things that I see off the bat. Um, another thing, I see your feet here. I don't know if they don't look like they're at like a your stable place. I don't know if you have your stable uh, three back two to the side uh, like uh, routine down yet. If not, we need to talk about that. Get to that um, because your um, feet you want to have them uh, they're too close to each other at the start right here. Um, you're almost tripping yourself up and causing yourself um, just extra harm when you don't have to.